Remember when you were eight years old and you wonder what you were going to be when you grew up? You were always going to do something cool, like a fireman or an astronaut, an NHL hockey player, or a race car driver. No sitting behind a desk for me, no way. I'm going to have a cool job. But then you grew up. Now you have to choose for real. There are so many options, and none of them seem cool. How about becoming a farmer? That's a real cool career. Did you know that fresh air and sunshine are a regular part of your job? There are never two days that look even remotely the same. You're never bored. You get to put food on people's plates. Let's visit some local farms to see how cool it is to choose a career like farming. Hi, my name is Luke Stratton with Hillside Holsteins Limited. We purchased a drone here from the farm so uh, we can kind of see everything that's going on. Uh, with 175 acres of land, you can't see everything with your own eyes. The drone got a much larger, bigger picture. Uh, with the purchase of the drone and clearing land each year, we can pick out land which is good and which is bad, where water builds up, where it don't build up. After a storm, we can see what damage was done to the farm, what damage, where the water is going, because that's the main concern here. As you can see, this, we're all on a hill, water comes down, and we got washouts. There is a lot to learn about the drone. Most of this comes from online and uh, other people around the community. So after we take the video here in the field, we take, always take it back to uh, our office and uh, I download it on my computer and save it so I can compare pictures and videos from last year to this year and then I got those videos and pictures for the next few years. I think the drone would be great on a cattle farm or if I had cows outside here. You can uh, check your fields daily and see if the fence is still up to see if the cows get out and if you have a cow calving you can make you can check and see if she did calve and uh, I also think a vegetable farm would benefit great from a drone. You can check your crops. They say it takes around 50 hours to uh, become comfortable with flying the drone. Uh, myself, I definitely want 50 hours because uh, as you can see, there's lots of trees and stuff to hit with the drone and uh, your money spent on a drone could be quickly gone when you uh, fly it into, uh, into the trees. Sunrise on the west coast of Newfoundland. No surprise to see dairy farmer David Simmons up this early. This morning, instead of being in the barn milking cows, however, he stops just long enough to enjoy a hot coffee in a chilly sunrise over the Humber Valley. It's a moment symbolic of the changes that technology has made to the life of his family. The fact of the matter is, Sarah's not the dairy farmer's wife. I'm the dairy farmer's husband. In 2011, they started Pure Holsteins on the family farm just outside Corner Brook, Newfoundland. In those first few years, the Simmons experienced their share of struggles and successes. During these tough times, they leaned heavily on family and advice from their lender. By 2015, David and Sarah were named Atlantic Outstanding Young Farmers, in part because of the way that they have utilized technology to transform, well, everything and it began with the addition of a robot milker. It's been a learning curve. It's been a different style of management. You don't rely on your eye so much in the barn as you do what the information you're getting out of the, out of the robots, out of your computers, out of, off of our apps, which is a little bit different because before you milked the cow twice a day in the parlor, you saw that cow twice a day, every day, you put a milker on her, you felt her, you, you know what you look like, you saw her eyes. That doesn't always happen now. So it's been different to trust the technology for one and get acquainted with uh, the best ways to use it to manage it. Nine smartphone apps literally put the control of the entire operation in the palm of their hands. Sarah focuses on the apps that track herd health. We know everything about the cows. We have cameras in the barn so we can see what's going on. Every time the cow goes and gets milked, we know everything about her. We know her temperature, we know her rumination, we know if she's lost weight, gained weight, not given enough milk. The apps David uses allows him to track feed usage, milk production, and the operation of the robot. If there's an issue that requires David's attention, the robot simply calls his smartphone.
Now, some may view social media as little more than virtual coffee shop chat. For this generation of farmers, though, it's become an important tool. Something breaks down, you call a dealer, you're waiting for one mechanic to call. You get on Twitter and uh, send it out there, and you have uh, you know, 5,000 other farmers that maybe 100 of them have had the same problem one point in time, and they're quick to get back to you. I mean, it's, it's great. Did you know being a successful farmer today requires knowledge of advanced technology, education preparation, and business skills? So in Newfoundland we have a very limited uh, growing season. The best we can do in the field is six months of lettuce production. That's using all available technology to us. Mini tunnels, row covers, irrigation, protect from frost, uh, starting seedlings in the greenhouse, but we cannot get past that six months of production. Geographically, there's probably no other place in the world that could benefit more from hydroponic production than here in Newfoundland. Uh, we have a system that actually uh, monitors the levels of nutrients and the pH in our water and it will dose it accordingly. If it needs a little bit more, it'll pump it in. Uh, if the pH has to go up or down, it'll pump a little bit of acid in there and that'll uh, fix any issues with the pH. In the field or in conventional production, uh, typically nutrients are supplied through a granular form. It's in the soil. Uh, the issues you run into there though is you can have an excess, you have leaching of nutrients. Uh, this way here the system is, you know, it's completely controlled and which is perfect providing you're controlling it correctly. You know, farmers, we're, we're problem solvers. Uh, we, we build things with our hands and you know, that, that trade has kind of helped us with this here. Uh, you take it, you, you see the see how it's done and you, you do it yourself, which is, which is always interesting. We love building stuff, we love creating stuff, uh, and we love growing stuff. And because we're able to put all this together from start to finish, it, it's all our work. So that's, that's kind of fulfilling, uh, you know, satisfying when at the end of the day, you stand back and you look at the system and all the plants, the, the whole system, we've assembled it and uh, created it.